All right, my goal with this tutorial is to finish up the black and white logo and to show you how to save it and export it in Photoshop from Illustrator. Because right now we're in an Illustrator format. And we want to be able to transport it. So I'm trying to fill those in and it's kind of silly doing what I'm doing. So I'm just going to use the pencil tool. I can set that to be smooth too and I'm just going to contain it and fill it with black. Contain it, fill it with black. So before there is blob brush, except I have it set to be a little too smooth. Before there is blob brush, I used the, the pencil tool for all of this. I just drew around my shapes instead of painting them in with pressure sensitivity. But whatever method works for you. We're all just trying for, for clean, refined shapes. And you can always work between tools, so I can always go back to the pencil tool and redraw an edge, as long as I go through existing anchor points. And get something closer to what I want. All right. Same thing here. I can smooth things out with the pencil tool. I can connect, make connections with the pencil tool. Actually, no, I have to use the blob brush for that to connect these two together. So nice how the blob brush does that. But then I can use the pencil tool to smooth them, refine them. Now, the hardest thing with the pencil tool is getting a sharp edge. You just have to really mean it with your gesture. So if I don't want that curve there, instead I want a sharp edge, I really need to just break that edge. And then if you need to, you can always use the, the anchor point convert tool as well. And then for these edges, if I want those to go sharper, the pencil tool can help. Yeah. Okay, what else do I have? I have to smooth this out. And then the rest is on the other layer. So nice about having different layers, I can just erase it now without worry where it overlaps with the head. Same thing here. Okay, little touch-ups can be fixed with the blob brush or the pencil tool. A lot of final refinements. So I had to really mean that point. Then it works. Round off the circles, clean up the inside of the acorn. Okay. 
In order for the pencil tool to redraw though, you need to be able to see the anchor points where you're redrawing. Otherwise, we'll just make a new pencil mark, a new path. And if you're getting paid a lot for your logo, you'll spend a long time smoothing out everything. But I'm not getting paid a lot for this, so I'm going pretty fast. Doing the most necessary stuff. Okay, now for the wings. I can modify those cutouts a little bit better. So they don't draw so much attention to themselves. And again, it's these sharp edges that are tough. You gotta really mean it. But if you have trouble with it, you can go to the Convert Anchor Point tool to get that sharpness back. And then the Small Selection tool to move handles in to get that sharpness. I think that will do it. Okay. Still more to refine. So the blob, blob brush tool is great, but then you need to be willing to come back and work with it. So I'll just unlock both of those layers and just go through with the pencil too. The shortcut is command to get to the small selection so you can see the anchor points. Remember you have to draw through an anchor point in order to redraw. Keep it simple, keep it smooth. You can set the smoothness on your pencil. And then of course you can use the smooth tool if you need to. Actually like that little overlap there. I want to do a quick cutout here. I don't know if it will let me because I didn't start through an anchor point. Good, it did. Good. Oh, and then I can always use a small selection tool, hover over an anchor, come on, let go, and move it to and play with the curves or even delete the curves to get what I want. Sharp on one side, curved on the other. All right, let's see. Okay, so all that I'm missing are the stripes in the background. So I'm feeling pretty good about that. I'm going to make a layer on top of the sketch, but underneath everything else. And I'm going to try to draw them with the pencil tool really smooth. So I'm going to set it all the way to smooth. Okay. 
And let's see. They're going to be different on each side. I'm just going behind the lines I already have to make a filled path. See how much it smoothed it out? Maybe too much. <laughs> Darn. So that's the idea. So let's set it back to what I had before. Making it too smooth just makes it not um, draw what you want it to draw, unfortunately. I'm just going to add these stripes. That's it. Fill them in. Use the blob brush. Get them to work completely. And then erase out what I need. Now, if I need transparency while I do that, so I can see, I can go to the gradients, go to the transparency, take it down 50% or so. So I can see where I need to erase out. But I want to make sure my other layers are blocked. It's nice to give a little bit of an offset around these other features. And then, because it's a fill, I can just get rid of the ones I don't want. Just delete them. And smooth it out a little bit. Remove that anchor point. And get rid of that handle. There we go. And now I basically, oh, I've got to erase, the, erase it out over here. So close to done. I'm going to keep my oak, uh, oak things pretty simple, just as shapes on the other side. There's little details I'm leaving out because logos are not about details about the overall impression. Okay, now, might as well try. Let's move it to um, the other side. Let's bring back its opacity to 100%. Come on. Oh, I get to do it with each one because I separated it. Fun, fun. Now I'm going to take these two, copy them, paste in place, object transform, reflect, vertical, move them over. Uh, and then that should be the end of it once I get it in place. Yeah, so right about there. 
Okay, so now just cleaning it up and then 